I tried you guys. I really, really tried. But sometimes you just can't wait. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I have another unboxing for you, but it is a tad bit unorthodox. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a YouTuber's behind the scenes. So I don't know about any other YouTuber out there, but I know for myself when it comes down to filming videos, everything has to sit and wait until I'm ready to film. Whether it's I go to the Dollar Tree or maybe I'll get in a Walmart beauty box when I got in my Thrive Market box, everything set. It just sits until I have that opportunity to sit down to film it, to unbox it and share it with you guys. And sometimes, it's frustrating. I will walk past that box and it's almost glowing. It's tempting me. I want to know what's inside. And then it's not even just me. Then it carries over to my family. Like Jacob will knock on the door and be like, Mom, what's good on that pasta side you got from the DT? Can I scoop that up for lunch? I'm like, uh -uh. nope, still haven't filmed that video yet. It's got to stay right there. And Daryl will be like, babe, what's up with that Gatorade? Can I kind of thirsty? Can I, can I grab on that Gatorade? I'm like, nope. Does it look like I filmed that video yet? The bags are still in the closet. No, sir, you cannot have that Gatorade. But in this particular instance, this was something mom needed. And sometimes a lady just needs something a lady needs and there was no longer no waiting. There was no, uh -uh, didn't film that. It was, I need to go into the box. So unfortunately, I've already been in this box, but I'm gonna set it up on my little table in my room for you and do like a grocery style unboxing. Well, because it was the best we were gonna get this time because I just couldn't wait any longer. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what I got this time at Grove. And blam, there it is you guys. This month's a Grove unboxing. And like I said to you guys, because I was in such a hurry to open up this box, I did just take a little bit of an overview when I was opening it, just to share with you guys what it actually looked like when it came here, how nicely it's packed. I've always ranted and raved about how well that Grove packs their boxes. Brandless packs their boxes really well. And I just found that Thrive really packs their box as well. So that always means something to me because I hate getting my stuff to the house and then it's all over the place. And I also love that they always personalize the boxes and they spell my name right. And that truly means something to me, especially with the way that my name is spelled. I always said my mom was crazy and she didn't follow any of the laws of English. And so no one ever spells my name correctly. So I love that they do that with their little smiley face and their special note. I love that, just so personable. But now that we've unpacked everything, here's what I got this month at Grove. And some of these things are new items to me. Actually, a lot of these items are new items to me, So, which means that they may be new items to you guys. So I did try the seventh generation fabric softener this time. They did not have the method one that I always use, and I am very particular. I only like the ginger mango scent, which is what the orange one is, I think. I don't like the beachy sage one that they have. That's the blue one. I'm just not a fan. And so when I saw that they were out of stock of the orange one and they only had the sage one, I was like, uh -uh, can't do it. So I decided to try this one, and this one's just a free and clear. So it softens fabrics made for sensitive skin, free and clear seventh generation fabric softener and it says it's good for 32 loads it's 32 ounces and it's for high energy machines so I've actually already used this twice and I find that it works wonderful I still feel the feel of the fabric softener in my clothes but I really love my laundry detergent if you guys know me you know I'm ride or die right now for my intense fresh Persil so that really comes through in the laundry even more so now because this is a free and clear so picked that up and then it is a fall time you guys and so I'm gonna pop up a little picture right here Madison Pippins just sent to me a little screenshot of the Grove website this morning and she was like OMG look at what their fall line is. And they have a caramel 
line this year everything their bucket is bronze all of their stuff that always goes together which you guys get as an entry package if you sign up with grove so i'll leave my link down below if you guys want to check it out but you would get that entire package for free plus a 60 day trial for their vip program so i would definitely click that link below because do you see how gorgeous their new line is so i wish i would have known that i would have held on this order but i'm actually going to go ahead and place another one really soon because we're out of sponges and i did not know that as well so i'm going to be doing another order really soon sooner than i normally would and now i'm even more excited over that salted caramel stuff um, but my favorite scent that only comes out in the fall is the apple cider they've come out with a few other ones the last few years and i did not like them like they had an acorn and then a something else like a just pumpkin not like a pumpkin spice like a just pumpkin fresh pumpkin or something and it was so gross um so right now apple cider has been the only fall scent i've really loved they have an orange clove or that might even be i think that is actually their winter maybe it's mum i think it's mum and apple cider and then they have the acorn spice and then that fresh pumpkin and then a pumpkin spice i think those are their, their fall scents but my favorite has been the apple cider so i just got the everyday cleaner i love the way this smells and being able to clean my cabinets and my countertops and all that so I got the multi-surface spray in that scent and then I also got the hand soap I just like to put this either at the sink or at the guest bathroom it's funny saying the guest bathroom right now because we have no guests but either that downstairs bathroom or the kitchen sink is where I'll keep the apple cider soap just so that it kind of matches because I usually keep this in my little bucket next to the sink and I just love when all the scents match but they've never had the room refresher I am like over the moon about this. So this is pretty much like a Vibreeze Air Effects, but this is their apple cider scent in the room refresher. I am so ready to open this. This is something I have not opened yet, but boy, as soon as this video is over, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my entire room down because I love, 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 love this scent and the idea of being able to just mist it all around the house and get that scent everywhere. I am just so excited. I've looked every single year for that scent and they never have it. If it's good, you'll see it in the next one too because I will stock up on it while I have it because I am... I really am truly excited about giving it a try. Um, I, speaking of giving something a try, this is the Pure Sense Home Stainless Steel Cleaner and Protectant. So I was using the Simple line that Grove had, and they were the only people who had it, and I really loved their line. Vanessa and I both talked about how much we loved their pet cleaner that you use for the carpet, and I went to purchase that still, and it was not there. And we also get, like I said, from that same line, the Stainless Steel Cleaner in that Simple line, and it is gone. And it's not on there anymore and I'm really sad because it was amazing they had a phenomenal leather cleaner like a lot of products from the simple line I really liked and then it's just not on their website anymore and they were the only place I've ever found it so I don't know where else to look but I just tried this one instead it had really great reviews online and I needed some stainless steel cleaner so I got that and it always comes with a little trigger nozzle for you to put in the pump and they always leave that separate so it doesn't spray anywhere which is good and then you guys they had toilet paper which i'm really excited about because obviously with this pandemic toilet paper has been an issue throughout the be very beginning of this and so when it first happened i immediately went to grove to try their seedling brand again i had tried it once before and i wasn't a huge giant fan but it was a pandemic and toilet paper was scarce and so I was literally trying everywhere and I was able to score a four pack and was pleasantly surprised. Either the formula had changed since the last time I had used it, which had been, you know, probably a year and a half or so prior to using it again. And I remembered not being a fan, which is why I never ordered it again, but I was really really surprised and you'll see we did break into this already we needed toilet paper so i took a thing for our bathroom yesterday but this time i got the eight pack when i saw they had the eight pack available i jumped right on that because again i really like it 
And if you guys have watched any of my empties, you know I am usually ride or die for my plain old Jane Scott's. No double ply, single ply toilet paper. What I like about how they changed, however it is now, this is two ply, but because it's tree free products, this is sustainable bamboo, so it's not the same as paper. This actually says on the box that it's 400 three ply sheets per roll, three ply. But it's not like that because it's not paper and it's like that sustainable bamboo, it feels different. So it's thicker than regular one ply, but not so thick that it feels like it's going to clog your toilet or that you feel like you're going through the roll in just a few spins. I really, really like it. So I was glad to see it back in stock. If they have more of it, I may even stock up on more. I do have a pack of Scots in my Walmart cart right now, just because I like to have that as a fallback as well, especially right now, just having you obviously see we needed it. So then we're already down to seven rolls. So I definitely will still want to have that on hand, but if I can get this again, I will highly, highly recommend it. Uh, these method laundry detergent packs. I can't speak to them at all. This is the free and clear. There's six loads in here and this was my free gift for hitting, I think you had to hit $50 and I just hit 50 bucks with the things that I bought. So I got this. I think I actually put something extra in my cart. Maybe it was the hand soap that I threw in last just to hit my 50 bucks so I can get a free gift. And I got picked out the laundry detergent packs. I've always wanted to try them and why not try them for free. Um, then I got my tampons, you guys. Like I said, when duty calls and mama needed something, this is why I had to truly open up the box. So I've already dipped into those and well, I mean, like I said, you can pretty much use your imagination on why, but I love the Cora brand and I actually put one in my cart on accident that I didn't realize this time and it worked out to my benefit. So I usually buy the super and then the regular and I get the combo pack and so it's 32 and it's 16 of each which is what I thought that I ordered, but somehow or another I got a 16 box of the Super and then a 16 box of the Light. So maybe I did do that on accident, I'm not really sure, but I had never tried the Light before. And this actually really worked because I usually purchase some kind of thin panty liner or something along those lines, but I didn't purchase that this time and I was out. So this kind of served as the purpose. So I think that maybe next time I'll throw a regular in my car and that'll work perfect. Like I won't even need anything else. All stages will just work for my cycle throughout the whole time and that'll be wonderful. So um, I got those and I love that these are all organic. There's no chlorine or pesticides or anything inside of this cotton because those things really affect me, which is why I liked the all natural ones, especially that they price match. So especially when Target, has a sale I go online I make sure they're where they have my price matching and I get these for a great price so got those for mama and then I got this for myself because I'm really curious about it now I'm really trying to dabble into some kind of different hair products I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Monet um, my girlfriend Jill I know I talk about her a lot Jill and I have been friends for a very very long time we actually met in the hospital when we had our boys Jacob what is a day older not even a full 24 hours older than Robert and we met in the hospital I had a c-section and she did not and that very first night in the hospital we were all by ourselves in the hotel room hotel room oh my gosh so not even a hotel in the hospital room and both just kind of sad because nobody was able to stay so we were both new mommies and alone in the rooms no spouses or anything with us and I like I said I had a section it was hard for me to get around and the nurses must have let her know because she just kind of whispered like this little voice in the dark and said hey I can get up and move around so if you need my help I'm here if you need me and the rest is history so we have been really close friends since then and her sister is a hair care professional so she's always done like cutting hair and dyeing hair and all that stuff but she recently just went back to school and got her degree to teach 
cosmetology. And so she's been into these products called Monet, which is supposed to be like the most phenomenal products on the market right now as far as good hair care. Better than the things you would buy in a salon and stuff. And so I'm looking into them. They are a tad bit pricey. Of course, anything of quality like that is, but my hair has been thinning and falling out for a long time. So I need to be smart about the products that I put inside of my hair. And you know that I love my dry shampoo and I mentioned in my closet video that I am running out of dry shampoo. And so I saw this before I even started talking with Candace about Monet. So I had this on its way or sitting in my house being waited to be filmed and so we're going to give it a try, but I am, like I said, really interested in those Monet products and looking into them. But this is Dry Shampoo and Volume Powder, and it's for dark and red hair colors, and it says Dry Poo for those no-wash days. And it's actually like a powder with a nozzle. And where is the instructions? Shake well, twist open the cap holding the bottle upright about six inches away from your hair part hair into sections and squeeze the middle of the bottle until powder reaches your hair start with a very light fast squeeze and increase pressure until desired amount of powder comes out of the bottle using your fingertips or a makeup brush makeup what brush massage into scalp and brush hair as usual if extra body is Desire, do not use a brush or a comb. Simply use fingertips to massage into hairline and repeat daily as necessary. So this is very similar to those hair fibers that I use in my hair because that also is kind of like a powder, but I don't work that in. So I would have to, you know, work this in and then put those fibers on top of it just to kind of hide that thinning hair. But I don't know. We're going to give it a try. It's USDA approved and it's all natural and like cruelty free and everything but that's what the ones in the salon say also and meanwhile Candace works in a salon and still says that these products from Monet blow that away so stay tuned I'll let you guys know if I decide to give those a try if I do you guys will be the first to know about it but that was it this time for my Grove haul you guys all right, you guys, so that's it for this time's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, I will leave all of Grove's information in the description box below if you wanna go ahead and check them out. I promise you, all of those free items, this is the time to get in fall is the time to get in between fall and Christmas any of these holiday times that's when you want to grasp on to all of Grove's free products because they always come out with the most amazing things so I'm gonna go ahead and go but I do want to ask you guys for one more favor so I've already gone ahead and put away all the things that I already shared with you guys but this is the little like end table that I got from my brother quite some time back and then we were using it as a desk downstairs in our old office space before we kind of did our little rearranging and moved everything around so first it came upstairs and it was in the game room and now the game room is the kids room and so now it's made it into my room and it's going to kind of opt as my own little desk so i have this little light from the dollar tree how cute is this and look how bright that is like that is a crazy bright for just a sunbeam dollar tree lamp like absolutely love that and then i got this from the dollar tree as well i mean can you even with both of those things for a dollar i can't so i have a couple of pictures here that i have set up on my space but obviously this isn't a desk it's meant to be like an entryway table so it's not a lot of width to it so do you think i should leave these pictures here i have a picture of my husband and i on our wedding day in like a just married sign and then i have this frame and it says in loving memory and then on the bottom it says those who touch our lives stay in our hearts forever and this is actually my grandparents on their wedding day daryl and i were supposed to recreate this picture so that we can put them side by side but we never of course you don't really get a chance to plan pictures the way that you want to so my question to you guys is should I leave them on my desk and just place my computer here and let the pictures just be on there or should I hang them on the wall and do kind of maybe some kind of little gallery ga I can't even talk gallery wall above I mean I do have some 
pictures that are already on the wall sorry with the light it's gonna the camera is gonna keep refocusing but just wanted your opinion I respect your guys's opinion so do you think that I should move that over there wow why is it so dark it is completely bright out you guys it is because of this light let me shut it off so much better my gosh the camera did not like that light so I just wanted your opinion should I hang it on this wall up above or just keep it on the desk that's that's my question you guys all right, you guys, so make sure you comment down below. Let me know how you think I should hang my pictures on my little desk area. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. All of Grove's information is linked down below. Subscribe if you are new. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.